This is the Nexus. A wellspring of life. <coughs> Yours and ours. As we watch the world stumble slowly to its dark end. It was here we pledged a new beginning. And now, with the ether we have harvested, I shall raise my kin from their eternal slumber. That together, we may usher in a new age of reason. This was never about creation. Only self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone? Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... Theirs to grow stronger. Joshua. Flames of the Phoenix. This, I once believed, would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. Do you remember the murals? People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him. Looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen. 
did not acknowledge our will, and so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pull was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! You're... Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. No. Still here with me to the end. Even now, 
you would deny the inevitable. As we always have, and always will. My sword, I swear, to shield the Firebird's flame forevermore. so easily broken. But it can be broken. And I shall see it so. For such is my will. Try it.
these flames. I sense more here than mere will. Is this Locos? Have you truly become free? No, I forbid it. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. I created you, all of you. And what is mine, is mine to destroy. Once perhaps, but we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one!
No. My will is inviolable. Something is wrong. You're afraid. You always have been. From the moment the Blight exposed what you were, weak, you conceived us to prove otherwise. But the result shook you to the core. For in us you saw yourself, and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be. And so you turned your back on your creation. Your back on the world, like the coward you are. You think you know me? You know nothing, Logos. Nothing. In light, I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. But we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. Thunder
my turn!
to acknowledge those below. You chose to remain alone. And so you shunned the one thing that could have made you stronger. Pushed away the hands that could have raised you higher. I do not need you. You are anyone. And that is where we are different. I could not have made it here on my own. I carry with me the hopes and dreams of my brothers, my sisters. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. you imagine will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom? I honestly don't know. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Why? It's who we are. We fight, we survive, we endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon ever out of reach and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. My congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity. On its blackened husk.
It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. But what I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, magic. Consigned to the flames. Even if it means the end of me.
to you the most beautiful thing. He is, isn't he? What are you gonna call him? Let me see, let me see. Oh, read little one. Got a smile for your Uncle Gov. Not so loud, you bird. What? I was only... Shh. You're scaring him. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> A sky of scattered tears A thousand years apart It wanted. That's what they both wanted. Woo! <laughs> 